Hey, how's it going? It's Carl, aka Carl Drum Tech. I'm here right now in Cheviot Hills, California. And today I want to talk about the topic of in the lot and how to dominate your experience while you are warming up in the lot. Now I chose a very interesting place. This is indeed a parking lot and that's where the term in the lot comes from is that when you're warming up with your drum line usually you are warming up in a parking lot type area or any other area that's kind of open so it's not necessarily always have to be in a parking lot but that is where the term in the lot comes from is when we're warming up when you see these drum lines warming up a lot of times it is in a parking lot and I think it's so interesting that we created our own term our own terminology for you know our rehearsal or our warm-up times you know because we warm up in a parking lot and kind of created this whole new meaning for this kind of abstract thing and I think for us is a very sacred thing it's something that's very special to us in the lot that experience whether you are actually in the lot warming up or watching other groups warming up. I think it's such a cool thing for us to all gather and enjoy everybody's talent and that is something that is truly special in the activity. Well, what I wanted to talk about today is how to enhance your experience while you are warming up in the lot. Now, whether you're a beginning drumline or intermediate drumline or a advanced drumline, this can definitely apply to you in terms of just like, I believe that there is a kind of mentality you need to have in order to make sure that you have the best experience possible so that you have a really good warm up and you're ready to go and do the gig. Now, one thing that I need to talk about is that when we are in the lot, and a lot of times it just kind of seems like it is a performance because most of the time you're gonna get some people who might watch you from another group or it's a staff member from another group or like let's say just some random passerby that doesn't know anything about the activity. That can happen as well, right? Or what you've seen is that, you know, with these world-class groups, whether you've seen it in a video or whether you go to a live drum course show, you will see these world-class groups with these massive crowds watching this warm-up, right? These guys getting ready to do the gig. And like I said, it is like a performance. Now, because it is like a performance, there is a certain mentality you need to have in order to make sure that you have the best experience possible so that you have you know, you give yourself all the tools to make sure that you perform your best right before the gig. Now, one thing I gotta talk about is that, you know, I talked about this before in that you need to make sure that when you, you want to perform the way you want to, you want to practice the way you want to perform. Because what happens is if we kind of change things up and do something different, it might kind of screw things up and therefore you may not have your best performance. Case an example, right? When you are in performance, what's the added element of the performance? There's there's a crowd, there's an audience, there's judges. So because there's that element, you might think, oh, I gotta step my game up and therefore your entire mentality changes. And like I said, with that little change, if you don't practice with that same mentality and practice, there could be some variables that are entered in that you did not account for while you were practicing and therefore, like I said, it can just kind of, you know, screw things up a little bit, right? So you want to be careful of that. Now, another thing, right, is that maybe some people might want to step up and some people might feel nervous or scared and again, that causes the same kind of issues if you didn't account for this nervousness when you are in practice. So it is really important, just for the sake of consistency, that you approach everything the same. This applies to the warm up. This applies to that performance of in the lot, right? Now, some of you guys might think, well, because I don't have a crowd, I might not need to step up. I mean, I am guilty of this as well. I remember back in my playing days, I remember when people started to show up and crowd around around the drum line, I kind of stepped my game up a little bit and went, holy crap, like I need to like play well because there are people who are expecting me to play well. Now, I truly believe that is the wrong mentality because like I said, you need to make sure that you perform the same way just like you would in practice. And just because you don't have a crowd or you don't have people watching you, doesn't mean you shouldn't step it up during the rehearsal or during the practice. You get what I mean, all right? I think that is extremely crucial and extremely important. Now, another thing, right, it's like, you know, I've had experiences teaching where students kind of get bummed if like, you know, there's a crowd around them and maybe people start leaving. Of course this happens, right? You've gone to, uh, you, you've gone in the lot and watched other drum lines and you thought maybe they're not that good and then you bail out, right? So this happens, you know, on a, in, in terms of a cycle, right? So. 
if you think like, oh, like the crowd is leaving, they didn't like us, we're not good, and it kind of affects your playing, again, that is the wrong mentality, all right? One way to look at it is that, you know, obviously, talent is a, vari a variable, right? So if you're not talented enough to kind of gather a crowd to have them interested in what you're doing because you're not talented enough late yet, I don't want to say talented enough, but I want to say like experienced enough yet, then that's what it is, right? It's like, that's okay. You still need to make sure that you keep your motivations up. You need to make sure you keep your uh, feelings positive and just think, I'm just going to make sure that I perform for myself, make sure I try to impress myself. I need to make sure that I am better than I was yesterday. That is the most important thing because you don't want the variable of whether there's a crowd around you or not to make sure that you step it up. Does that make sense? All right, so no crowd or no crowd. You need to make sure that you're always performing your best. Perform for yourself, that's one way to look at it so you make sure that you're always putting your best foot forward when you are practicing and when you're performing. Obviously, in the practice situation, it's always easier to kind of have that mentality because most of the time there is no crowd. Whether you're a world-class group or a A-class group, doesn't matter. Most of the time when you're in rehearsal, there's usually not a crowd around. So that is the time and the place to make sure that you're always stepping it up as if there was a crowd, right? Like Because like I said, no matter what, you need to make sure that you're performing and practicing at a high level whether you have people in front of you or not. Like I said, I'm guilty of this too. I remember when I was in a rehearsal setting and you know, like uh, there's a, all of a sudden, I, you know, I was in, in drum corps and then the local high school kids from the band program showed up and they all filled the stands. Holy crap, that changed my entire um, practice mentality. But in retrospect, I should have had that step it up mentality the entire time, no matter who is watching or whether no one's watching. And one more variable I want to talk about is that, like, let's say, you know, um, you are in a situation where you're performing and let's say there's not a huge, let's, let's say you do have a crowd, there, there is an audience, but they're not very responsive. They're just kind of like, you know, give you a little like, uh, you know, like small ovation or whatever, or they don't respond very well. I mean, I've had students as well be frustrated at that. Like, oh my God, the crowd is dead. You know, like it just, it just messes with their mentality. Again, that is the wrong way to look at it. You got to look at it as like, you're thankful there's a crowd and you still got to perform. And if they don't like it, fine, it's, it's okay. Like I said, perform for yourself, try to impress yourself and that is what's gonna carry you through so you don't care how the audience reacts. Again, like I said, if you are not talented enough or you're not experienced enough to kind of garner or deserve kind of like this praise from people, that's okay. Like I said, talent and experience is a variable. So if you're not there yet, you're not there yet. But you still need to focus on making sure that you are performing to your best, you're improving every single day, every single performance, every single practice. Does that make sense? All right, cool. So uh, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if I can just give you one more analogy, I remember when, uh, you know, just, just this is kind of out of the blue or like not that related, but it is related. <laughs> um, I, I, I'm in a league basketball uh, team. And when we were about to play this team that was a lot more experienced than us, in some ways illegal because they weren't, in, you know, we, in our division, it's supposed to be people who are not experienced playing basketball on a collegiate level or pro level. Well, this other team kind of illegally had some of those players. So, and they were killing every team by like 20, 30 points. And like, I know for sure I had that feeling of intimidation. Like, I don't even know if I want to show up because I don't want to get embarrassed by these guys or whatever. But then, you know, you have to think like it's you're not playing against these people, right? After all, they're people. They're just people like you and me, anyway, right? They bleed. They bleed the same blood and all that stuff. But you know, it's like you're not playing against them. You're playing against yourself. So if you can overcome that fear and intimidation of like these people are so good, whatever, and you're just thinking, well, I'm just I'm just trying to beat myself. I'm trying to play to the best of my ability. I'm trying to make sure that I you know, improve from the way I was before. And this is a good barometer, right? To play against these really good players, even if they are completely over our heads, that is okay. And this mentality is, what, is what's going to enable you to take on anybody, anytime, take on the world, because it really is a competition with yourself. This is a really good competition me mentality no matter what. If you're a small A group and you're going against these world-class groups and maybe you are tiered in the same like points bracket or same kind of placement bracket, bracket, it doesn't matter. You still need to step up your game, crowd or not, you know, going against like really experienced groups or not, 
you got to look at it like you are competing against yourself. That is the ultimate competition. That is how you're going to step up your game. That is how you're not going to be stifled because you see the other talent around you and think, well, I can't reach that level or there's no way I'm going to win. The only way you're going to lose is if you think that, you know, it's like, you, you, you feel less than because these people are so much more experienced and so much more talented than you, right? The ultimate goal is to be better than you were yesterday, whether that's in drums, whether that's in basketball, whether that's in life. Does that make sense, right? Don't compare yourself to others. Compare yourself to yourself. Try to improve every single day. That is the key, all right? Cool. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, do me a huge favor, all right? Hit that like button. I really would appreciate that. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, have any suggestions on what I should cover, leave that in the comments below. If you have not subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for? Make sure you guys subscribe. And if you think this video can help a friend, somebody you know, please make sure you share this video, social media networks, um, you know, just, you know, pa passing by a friend, you could be like, hey, check this guy out. He's like really kind of crazy, but he has some really good information. Whatever, right? <laughs> share this video. I really appreciate that as well. All right, so cool. No matter what, no matter where you are, whether you are in the lot, whether you are on the court, whether you are on the field, every single time, whether it's a performance or a practice or a warm up, you need to have a high level of performance every single time. Impress yourself, right? And be in competition with yourself. All right, peace out. Hope you guys uh, enjoy this and got a lot out of it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.